All right, all right. So, hey everyone, welcome back to the next stream of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, it's been a while since my last stream, a lot of stuff has been going on, and uh, had le a lot less free time to play around with, but now, today, finally had enough time for a stream, and enough energy for a stream, which is definitely two things that I wanted to have since last time. Last stream was quite possibly the best one in this entire playthrough, because we got to play my we got to play my favorite boss, we got to uh, listen to the most epic boss music ever, it was great, and I was getting roasted the whole time by all the people that were watching there, my girlfriend included. So, it's just after that boss fight, and now we've walked into the headquarters of World Marshal, which is the mercenary private company, private military company that seems to be in bed with the bad guys. So, here we go. I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward to your next visit. And this is weird because she's a robot. I'm actually gonna not go through the security gates. Okay, you know what? Oh! What was that? Oh! It's some kind of grappling thing. Nice. Oh ho ho ho! Oh, I like that. Hey, where'd he go? I see, so this is a move that can get me closer to them. Oh, jeez. Nice. Okay, so R activates Ripper mode. <laughs> I'm liking this dagger thing. Hey, where'd you go? Come on, stop moving around! There we go. I was getting a little nervous there. This dagger's nice, but I am honestly not liking it, so why don't we go back to, uh, can I... Okay. Oh, dang it. You from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. Okay. But let me, uh... There we go. There we go. That... I like this weapon a lot better. Ooh. Yes, give me all the homing missiles. Give me all the homing missiles. Nice. And what do we have in here? Okay. All right. Now, let's get back to business. Wait, items. Okay. Oh, more here. Woo, we got quite a haul here. All right, now let's go. The elevators appear to be disabled, which we 
should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? It seems the guards are storming the building. Titan, get back to the entrance. Find some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevator, Titan. Use the weapons around them and slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. I'm gonna let them come to me. We're doing well, we're doing very well. I'm not done killing people. Oh, that was new. I didn't know I could dash like that to a slow mo mode. But okay, I think we're done. Oh, it moves automatically. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the Hey Carly, happy you can make it. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. Oh, this you sounds like it's gonna take a lot of effort. Panels ...to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Oh boy. Looks like I gotta actually do stuff. hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. Okay. Uh, ooh. Oh sweet, I can just I can just cut through doors like that. Nice. Wait, what the heck? Whoa. Okay. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Use your enhanced Oh, dang it. One of them saw me. I thought I could sneak up on this guy. Oh, oh jeez. Oh, God, it's one of those T-Rex things. Oh, crap. Stop! Oh, jeez! Oh, 
crap. Oh, sweet. They're moving in herds. They do move in herds. These are the wrong kinds of herds. Nice. Okay, I'm no longer almost dying. Okay, so that was one. Where is another? Oh, that was a little tense. There should be an electrical panel nearby. Yeah, I see. It. All right. Keep on coming. Oh crap. So it just knew where I was? Uh. your legs and now <laughs> give me your lifeblood uh, okay didn't have that much of a harder time with those guys that's good that was very good uh, where's the next one uh... ah the security gate it is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high frequency electrical current oh that's it should unlock once the power has been cut. Yeah, but I gotta find out where this last panel is. Maybe it's that. Mm, no, these are... That's an item box. Wait a minute. Why can't I... I can't open that one. Okay. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Where are you? Oh, it's right there. Alright, here we go, here we go. Now we're making progress. Ooh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Nice. Alright, we're doing well. We're doing well. Oh, that was it. Just that one fight. How did he know the code? Oh? Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Uh... Well, as you wish, I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Yeah. Most of the time, you're working with first world ex-military, grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. <laughs> well, you hot. <laughs> gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. All right. So hopefully we can find all the brains of all the orphans and then we can put them in robot bodies. Can't believe I said that. Yeah, it's time to just run. I like the I like the sequences where I'm just running. 
Come on. Ooh, item. What's in here? A repair nano paste. Nice. Oh, jeez. Nope. Sorry, guys. Oh, great. It's a gecko. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez, these guys are everywhere. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Ah! No you don't. Wait, I have to fight that thing? Ah, oh, screw you. Is he selling car insurance? What? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. You said it was a gecko. Oh, I did. <laughs> I didn't get it at first. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Is a whole half of the building being brought down on me? Or is that just how it's... Oh, 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 dang it. I gotta start turning sooner. Uh, oh crap. Oh dang it. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Come on, come on. I'm trying to. I swear, every time I die, it just takes the... Oh, that was the last little bunch of explosions that I had to get past. Whoa, whoa. Huh? Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. Uh-oh. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear right. Now... Head for the garden. I don't know why, but I'm getting a weird feeling from this garden area. I remember very little about this part of the game, and something tells me that I really hated this place. Oh, this place is pretty. Oh, well, barrier set up. Oh, time to kill things. This kind of reminds me of that Sekiro game that just came out recently. Apparently, I've heard it's amazing. Nice. Nice. We're doing a lot better. I'd rather not eat this, thank you very much.
Nice. All right. Can we move on? Ah, uh, nope. More bazooka people. Ugh. There we go. All right, we're doing a lot better now. Oh geez, there's more. Did I just take both his arms? Yep. Oh, uh, well, I killed him anyway. All right. Progress. How do I... Is there a way I can... How do I get out of here? Uh, this way? No, that's just more boxes. Oh, I can just cut through these, of course. Ow. I so cannot wait to beat this game. I actually already have my next game all planned out. Oh great, it's one of those gorilla things. Oh, that's not good. Stop kicking me! Why is it that I can never seem to hit the deep, hit my WASD keys fast enough for this game? Come on, give me something. Yes! I almost got these guys. Where are you? Ah. Finally. I hate those things with a greedy passion. So he said there was a catwalk. Oh, it's over there. All right. Follow the catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. I'm trying. No, 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 no. Okay. Huh? My apologies, Ryden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. 
It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. I'm well, glad to know things are doing okay. All right. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know what to do. Oh, wrong one. How do we... How do I use my sub-weapon? C? Oh, C. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna honestly try to make an attempt to sneak past everyone here. It might be tricky. Okay, he's walking past. Just ignore me. You can do it. Oh crap, but he's looking my way. Come on, just turn around. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You did there you go. Nice. Oh my god, I actually made it. I never thought it'd be possible. Mm. Okay. Oh, crap. Of course there's always going to be enemies on an elevator. Oh, crap. I hate these geckos. Okay, I'm happy we survived that. Oh boy. Oh god, this beeping is gonna get on my nerves. Can I? Another freight platform. Look out! Incoming! Is there a way I can? There we go. Much better.
Oh god, it's those little arm things. Get back here. Ow. Ow. Okay, finally. Okay, we're doing well. And they're invisible now. You think? God, these things. Nice. That was actually kind of easy. All right. Of course it does. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's... I'm actually doing well with the W. Oh god, two of them. Oh. Nice. That's one down. Stop shooting me. It. Okay, that's it. No more Mr. Nice riding. <laughs> With love. Oh, oh, he was just one hit away. Oh, jeez. I hate those gorilla things. Can I just get out of here now? The server room's ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, 
It's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. Yeah. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner is waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Alright, so, oh, this is the way. Ooh, item. What's in here? Nice. Okay. Wait, what? what? Miss Troll? She's... No. A spare body if I had to get slightly controlled by an AI. Uh, she was my favorite boss fight. Where'd you go? There you are. I forgot about this part of the game. This is literally just a repeat of the boss fight. Ow. So many of them. Jeez, she just flung one of them at me. I was waiting for it. Now that song's gonna be stuck in my head all night. Oh, oh, she's almost dead. Oh crap, I just realized if I'm fighting her, then the others might be then the other guy might be close. God, there's so many of these things. Ah! 
Ah, uh, crap, my wrist hurts! Oh, did I get her? Yeah! Oh, jeez. Are we done? Also, which way do I go? Oh, come on! Oh, wait a minute. I need EM grenade. Wait. Crap, I, for I totally forgot. How do I use sub weapons? Oh, jeez. C. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Come on, just let me kill you. Oh, wow, he is almost dead. Oh, sweet! <sighs> okay. Are we done? Please tell me we're done. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, this is it! Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe you're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. To kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jump every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Oh, I thought I could walk up the stairs. Oh, and I'm back here. And you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate it to perform in all kinds of atrocities. Uh. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. <sighs> you just don't see the bigger picture, do you?
say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. Ooh, there's a lot of them. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? None of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. Oh, crap. I forgot they mentioned that. Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do hey. not lose him this time. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Things definitely got interesting. Wow, this guy went fast. Wait, how do I... Oh. Here we go. And unfortunately, this is the one boss fight that I didn't like. Hopefully I can pull this off. But I do like this music. Oh jeez! How the heck am I supposed to? A oh, jeez, ow! Your body should analyze it for you. We'll show you where to attack, so it does not hit you. If you can only hit the right spot with your blade, maybe you can drop his gun. Right. So I gotta, I gotta actually slow down in this fight. It's hard to line up. Oh my god, these people! Go vertical. Ah, stop it. Oh, but he is almost dead. I guess I'm doing something right. Oh, I got it. Ah, 
Ah, stop it. Stop hurting your... Oh... Okay. Ah, oh, dang it, I... It has to be exact. Oh, ah! Uh. I don't... Oh my gosh. I hate this boss fight. Oh, oh there we go! There we go. Oh, now. Now I'm now I'm having fun. Oh jeez. Oh, there he goes. Oh, jeez. Oh, ho. Oh, oh, we're doing this. Okay. Ow. Like, I, I have, like, no health left. If I take one more hit, I'm dead. Uh. Oh, my God. This is so tense. Wait, what? I can twist? Oh. I had an extra life. Oh, nice! Gotcha! Ho 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 ho! Oh, it's about time. I hate that boss fight so much. What happened?
happens in three hours. He'll launch Operation Tacoon, say. Who? Armstrong. I've already said too much. I have a call to make. <laughs> Got yourself shaving? How are you coughing? You I you don't have a body. Real good. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Well, you get your wish. Up to you now. So Ryden here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yes. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry! Ryder, what Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. And in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mac 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Oh. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over world marshals? Then we have to get there first. Nevazmuzhna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. Oh! 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Alright, so we got a plan. Whew, this... Kind of hard to believe that this entire stream was just, like, one level, and yeah, I do plan to stop it right here. But, uh, hey guys, thanks so much for, uh, joining me for this stream. Um, yeah, this was definitely, um... We actually did a lot less in this stream than I would have thought, but uh, hey, it was definitely a fun time and we got to beat another boss. Um, and once again, this will be put up on YouTube like usual. And if I'm recalling where this game goes, then the very next stream might very well be the final stream of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So um, just pay attention to my Twitter. I'll always post updates about when that is going to happen. And uh, we'll see you next stream. See you later, guys.